Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Welcome to episode 25. Welcome back to Siri. Hi, Siri, with the dramatic makeup. We are here after, in the last episode, taking control of Siri for the first time. Uh, I've been told to follow Gretka, this little girl, into uh, this little, you know, cave where a werewolf is going to be. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to be over dramatic here, but if I had to paint the picture of the first 25 episodes of The Witcher 3, I would list... Uh, of this playthrough, I would list our greatest nemesis in this entire playthrough uh, as, as, you know, probably my own ineptitude, number one, a very close second, werewolves, and then like a very solid gap between that and the third item, which is probably uh, my shitty Gwent deck. So I'm a little bit nervous about the werewolf it's in here. A bit dark, afraid. Yep, it Are is, you? that's right. No, then I'm not either. I'm a little bit nervous. Siri's not nervous and neither is Gretka, but Ryan is nervous. Ryan's nervous. I'm mostly nervous that I'm going to disappoint the good people of YouTube when I have to lose to this werewolf. That's a human. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? That was a very human noise. Okay. Yep, let's do this. All right, so hold up. Everybody hold up. Everybody hold up. Can I use my inventory yet? No. Do I already have the oil on my... I guess I've technically already oiled my... King of Wolves, by the way. King of Wolves. Okay, we're going to get an attack in here. We're going to do it. It currently says that I do not have any... Any, uh... Oh, my God. Anything on my ah! hot bar in the bottom left. Okay, we can make this work. Okay, we're gonna have to do major hits. We're both about two thirds health. Maybe I should be doing faster attacks. I can also kind of sneak up behind it a little bit. Maybe I should use the. Maybe I should be using the. Uh, terrain a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Quick little dip in, right, left jab. Get out. Oh, we're cracked. This is definitely the easiest werewolf I've ever fought. We get behind it. We're out of here. We're out of here. Dodge out, dodge out. Okay, the final blow. Also, I am now... I forget that Siri regens like crazy. So honestly, that was incredibly easy. Boy. Let's go. You really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. I have the come gamma on. on this game. Completely up. I cannot move the gamma higher in this game. Why is it so dark? What am I doing wrong? If you have a tip, I would honestly love to hear it in the comments. Uh I don't know why this is so dark. You can barely see Greca's face on my recording, I think. Well, I'll have to see what it looks like on YouTube. Huh. I've never had a game resist brightening so much, but, um, yeah. Anyways, let's focus on the story right now. Um, we found a corpse in the woods. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Aaron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but... Yaren, the... the little one. No details. Mm, yeah, smart. Um, we must get to the village. You have bandages at home. Some spirit. He laid a claw or two on me. He did. That's true. Well, I've I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf. My lord, down. huh? Very well. Lead us to your lord. Wonder who that could be. Man, now I'm all concerned, but I've I've I feel like I've done as much research as I can on on brightness in this game, and now I can't figure out why that was so dark. Like this is so light, huh? I don't know. I'll figure it out between the episodes. I'm gonna try not to focus too much about it right now. I'm just gonna triple check that the gamma is completely up here in a second. But yo, Siri and Gretka must have been must have been famished. I mean, Gretka was literally starving to death, so. That does make sense. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? 
Neither, damn it! <laughs> I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? I don't think so. see one fucking copper. Yep. Get out before I set my hands on you. Okay. I do really like the Baron's coat. I don't know that I like the Baron. So, stew any good? But I like his Sorry. his red. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. Okay. Serious scar is something serious. I'm, a. Uh... I was really interested to see there if we got any. So I ordered my men to watch her and let get any character rest. background. And on the on the Baron ah, himself. A topic for another time. Like, how do we feel about him? Do we feel good? Do we not? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Let's ask after Gretka and see. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Mm. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents. What they decided. So okay. I decided not to send the lass home. Point in the She's Baron's favor. Here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Uh. Talk? Tell me it's important. I get what you're after. Uh. Tell me it's important. I don't get what you're after. I want... I mean, I have to find I your daughter. I need to but. find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. Okay. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Can I get like half of that information now and then half on delivery or <laughs> uh, how can I trust you? How do then I know I can trust you? Can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Love Only it. Only my word. Uh, that's my absolute favorite. Okay, deal. Sure. I'm not going to ask what if I refuse because I don't really want to, honestly. Deal. Sure. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. Great. God. I love it. This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. He seemed to whistle through his empty tooth, which I find Don't hilarious. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Uh, okay. They vanished, and you just... Were there any signs of their departure? Were they... Have you searched? You try to search for them? Sent men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. Hmm. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. <laughs> Do you have any enemies? Uh, I mean, well, who's to say they didn't just leave themselves? Who's to say they didn't want to escape and so they did? You currently strike me as a uh, beneficent overlord and i don't know i guess maybe a fine husband and father but or at least not a shitty overlord but that might just be the story that you're telling me um do you have a, have you noticed anything unusual anything unusual happened before they disappeared they act differently do anything strange unusual no well, not long ago peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well devoured another last before her common occurrences in Velen, and my women, Anna 
quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing okay. unusual. So, um, we have potential witcher related activity, you know, monster related activity. Um, did your men ever bother them? This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? I wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horses, <laughs> but I know their place. Oh. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. So my next question, though, is were they happy here? Were Anna and Tamara happy here? You said they have pheasant when they want it and blue ribbon when they want it. But, like, I'm not sure that's the recipe for happiness. Do you have any enemies? Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Hmm. Any you might have? I've been eating dirt long since. Okay. So a hint of a hint of we knew this already about the Baron, but we, a hint of like uh, a person who's not afraid to get rid of people who oppose him. Okay. I need more information. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? Witcher your senses? Let's go. I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll Hell not yeah. let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. <laughs> Then let me work. Hey, let's go. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Okay. All right, I'm just going to clarify real quick. There's no way it changed recently. Gamma is literally as far right as that'll go. Huh. I don't know. I mean, uh, the only reason I worry about it is because I want you guys... Shit. Uh, because I want you guys to be able to see uh, as much as I can. But um, I can see better than it's showing up on my recording software. But um, I just want you guys to be able to see everything. It's fine for me playing, but... When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw okay. a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Uh -oh. Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. Listen, do you have the key to this place or no? Here it is. Damn it. Jammed again. Our bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Blowing hangover. Okay. Try not to make a mess. For Love it. Turn, I want everything to be as they left it. Great. Uh, so what about this little bucket that I keep kicking? You wanna ignore that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this Baron is a fucking character. Okay, well. Uh, a candlestick. Oh my god, was it Colonel Mustard with the candlestick One in candlestick. the greenhouse? Stems broken. Stems broken, huh? Wooden candlestick. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to Stems click that a broken. second time. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. Uh, we potentially have some loot. I'm not going to take a damn thing. I know that I potentially could, but it would be a hell of a time for the game to start uh, to start giving me consequences for looting, even if there isn't a guard there. Uh, we have a window here. Okay. Wall's a different color. Something oh, it's not a window. I thought it was a closed up window. Mm, that painting... Right size. What painting? That painting? Yeah. What the fuck was that sound? Yeah, did you hear that sound? The fuck was that? Am I tripping? The Baron and his wife <laughs> look happy enough. <laughs> no, they don't. They look pissed. Oh, man. I love that there is a, like, this? old painting. Huh. <clears throat> Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side. I love that there's a, a very old painting uh, 
it makes me like think about the fact that like you see old paintings like that in museums and if you're anything like me you have to like remind yourself that the person in the painting was of the same type of flesh and blood definitely have the different color uh like set of clothes and stuff but of the same flesh and Fresh blood that you were even though they look like minute. takes hope hilariously uh they look like uh you know like something out of like a the scroll work on you know on the edge the margin work on the outside of a an ancient text uh okay so he has fresh flowers for him what's in the cabin or the the cupboard hmm it gets interesting piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick no okay. coincidence there hmm fight might have happened here i don't look for clues here's the question is there blood on the candlestick no no murder okay Ooh, there's something over here, though. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Candlestick, potentially? I don't know. You know, it's just a thought, considering it's broken. Oh, man. I love how creaky they have made this room sound. Excuse me. What's all this shit? Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Were Tucson. the stains there? Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. The stains there originally? What the hell? Okay. Oh, the smell. I understand. I understand. Okay, okay. Smell. Right through the door, it looks like. Okay. This way, then through here. Yup. Hi, Baron. <sighs> Don't mind me. Past this guy. Down the stairs to a floorboard. Okay. I'm going to check out in here first. Wait, wait. I thought this was the... Uh... Let me quick save real quick. I thought this was the... Rusty key. Now, see, that seems very useful. I thought this was the girl's room, but I may have been wrong. Maybe this is a... Uh, hmm. Letter to tomorrow. It seems like I'm going to have to take that, and probably the rusty key as well. Let's take it. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other survive tough moments, grapple with the past. For each of us has a past. You needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. Only the future does. That and our common fight against evil and depravity against perverse and loathsome practices of all kind. Okay. Someone is, in my opinion, what that means is someone is uh, like almost consoling Tamara. I think Tamara wants to leave and... Oh my god, this looks like blood. I don't think it is. I think Tamara wants to leave and uh, is worried that Tamara's past will follow her. And it sounded a little bit like the person is <sighs> Damn, ugly for saying, a hey, the our group. Stick with pins to hurt someone. Hmm. Hmm. Damn, ugly for a doll. The so it's voodoo? Stick with pins to hurt someone. Okay. I couldn't tell if he was saying it is like a, like a, another doll. Great. Hmm. All right. We have a key, which I think is going to be important, but I'm going to ignore it for now. You white one. Look like you got soused last night too. Got soused last night? No, I'm not hung over. Trail breaks off. Talisman. Could find something else though. Hmm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else Sorry. here. Okay. Uh, now what? Talk to the bear about what you found. The talisman. Okay. Um, hmm. Do you think I should take this rusty key? I think I'm going to take the opportunity to grab this key. I think it makes sense. Incense. And an old key. 
wonder what it unlocks. Now, real quick, now that yes. I have the key. Sandalwood and something else. Saffron. Okay. Sandalwood, saffron. Hangover. Nope, see, this one goes down. Okay. So there's more. There's more for sure. I'm glad I kept looking. There's definitely more. Something here. Then it looks like there's more down here, too. It's like something fell. Or something. Like down the staircase? Where is this going? Huh. What am I looking at here? Yo, Witcher Sense is really cool. I have to admit. Oh. Okay. So, okay. All right. All right, so what am I looking at here? An altar. <laughs> what? So, the eternal fires Interesting. made Interesting. prayer. Let's read it. Eternal fire, which lighteth our hearts and giveth us light, heat us with thy warmth, dry our tears, burn our foes, embrace our friends in thy care. Give my mother health. Punish my father. Help me fulfill my destiny. So, first part seems uh, formulaic. Second part, not so much. I'm wondering if the second part is the daughter, whichever one the daughter is, Anna or Tamara. I think it's Anna. Help me fulfill my destiny. Uh, asking for something specific. Looks like maybe an offering of like a cake. Oh man, these like tapestries with the flames. Maybe it's just painted directly on the brick. Oh, it's just painted directly on the bricks on this side. On this side, it looks like it might be painted directly on the wood. It's cool. Holy shit. This torch is falling on the ground. And then what looks like maybe like dollhouses, you know? Oh, lots of creepy, lots of creepy shits going on. I'm still going to avoid stealing anything that, you know, isn't, uh, isn't related to the quest. Just out of a, you know, purely idealistic, uh, desire to save my own skin. Should the Baron decide to turn on me slash be guilty of abusing, uh, his wife and or child. Um, okay. Don't poking around. Hey, I found a whole bunch of shit. Hey, I found a doll. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting? So it about was a Tamara's doll, room. Witcher. Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? Balmy. I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. Uh... As I remember, Triss looks different, or the resemblance is uncanny? As I remember, Triss looks different. This is Triss. No offense, but uh, not great <laughs> with your hands, are you? What, what the you fuck is happening here? Rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with. So there's signs of a fight in the room. So Tamara must be the daughter. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. Ah. Uh Mm. I don't know nothing about this. Mm. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt yeah. you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something. Three times. I think he's I suspicious. Asked those bastards! If they'd seen anything, heard anything, nothing. Not a one of them. Mm. I think this Baron is is suspicious here. Somebody spilled wine on the landing. Also, found signs of a fight in the room. I'm going to I'm going to click fight. this again real quick. Someone was attacked. Uh, Doubt you were the only ones in nope. the All right, cool. Three top. Somebody spilled wine on the landing. Whole landing smells of wine. 
Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Hmm. Give your men air valus. Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Do you know anything about this amulet? So, story so far. He's drunk. Um, nobody in the castle heard a damn thing, but there was definitely enough crashing to have broken a candlestick, punctured the wall, also put some, like, scratches in uh, a post uh, in the room, too. Hmm. Do you know anything about this amulet? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any yep. idea where she got it? What None. secret society? Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. That's actually a super useful piece of information, Baron. Thank you. Uh, maybe it's the, like, Society of... <laughs> this is the wrong name. But the, like, Society of Sorceresses or whatever it is that uh, we were t hearing about a couple episodes ago. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. My <laughs> grasp on the lore of this uh, world is so, so tenuous right now. I'm off to see the Peller, which I don't know what that is either. I want to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goats. Oh my god. Not really interested in his hobbies. <laughs> ask about the amulet. Incredible. I'm going to tell you a story real quick while I go to read some of these this glossary. I worked a job one summer with a man whose nickname was pigeon fucker uh i spent the whole summer trying to understand why this man's name nickname was pigeon fucker and the best i got were uh truly you know they were uh you know vague answers at best uh anyways anna stringer Geralt did not meet Anna Stringer, the Bloody Baron's wife. So Anna is the wife when he visited Crow's Perch. Sometime before his arrival, this woman had disappeared in unexplained circumstances along with her daughter, Tamara. Geralt did, however, receive a detailed description of the missing woman. A comely 40-something woman with green eyes and hair dark as raven wings, which she kept tied in a tight bun behind her head, which is hilarious because this image, she does not have her hair in a bun. Okay. All right. Funny. Uh, Tamara. Baron's daughter, Tamara, disappeared with her mother uh, a time before Geralt arrived. Baron described her as charming young maid, 19 summers, apple of his eye. Okay, so she's older than I thought she was. Oops. I did not remember that. Uh, Lord of Crow's Perch was desperate to find her. We have the ba Bloody Baron himself. During his first encounter with Baron Philip Stringer, Geralt found the man's many contradictions puzzling. Former Tamarian soldier, clearly an opportunist, uh, who now negotiated with the occupying empire of Nilfgaard. Um, Bloody Baron did not handle his vessels with kids' gloves. On the other hand, he did prove a surprisingly gracious host. It's true. Uh, yes. His treatment of children and young women towards whom he demonstrated a wholly sincere, near-fatherly concern likewise contradicted his bandit-like appearance and terrifying moniker. Siri had learned this for herself, finding care and shelter under his roof. In exchange for information about Cirilla, the Baron asked Geralt to find his wife. So here's the thing. That line is suspicious. His treatment of children and young women towards whom he demonstrated a wholly sincere near fatherly concern. Oh man. Am I the only one reading that who's just like potential red flag? If you have to if you have to label it, if you have to draw my attention to it, is it truly wholly sincere? I don't know. I don't know. He's at least a drunk. We know that. The Peller, as is often the case with charmers, diviners, healers, and other such cunning folk in the countryside, the Peller of Blackbow was a man of mystery. Some claimed he could commune with the dead, others that he had a different sort of familiarity with the grave. Uh, having put an axe in his father's head, he apparently talked crazy. Um, indecent fondness for barnyard animals. Hashtag, that's hilarious. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why I said hashtag. All of these rumors arouse the fear and respect of the backwater peasants of Valen. He has, it looks like chicken's feet, rooster's feet around his uh his neck. 
So there's that. Find the Peller's Hut. It sounds like it's in Black Bell. Yeah? Just outside of Black Bell. <gasps> Our fucking alchemist. The goat. Oh my god, we've met his goat. We've met his love interest. Wow. That's fucking funny. Huh. I have to try something. Quick save. We're going to close this door. Yep, 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 yep. You ready? Nothing happened. Cool. Just a little bit of gold and pearl. That's fine. That's it. I think there's more over here. Yep, nothing else. Yep. Cool. Nobody saw anything. Plowing hangover. Plow and hangover? Plow and a goat? Uh, a lot of plowing happening in this game right now. Okay. I kind of want to continue to uh, explore this castle a little bit. Considering it's kind of huge. Hey, there's Gretka. Let's go. I wondered if we could find Gretka. Yes. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. She's like, I'm not dumb, Geralt. What else did Siri say? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she did helped see what a I just saw? Hers. Did you see what I just saw in that image? What the fuck? Uh, what friend? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean? Bloody handprint. A friend. She right over her right shoulder. She had to save him. She said she was, he was in trouble. She had to save him. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Do you know where Siri is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. Too but little? Hmm. A, gift. a gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Okay. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. What was it? Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Have fun. <laughs> this. What a this... good line. Thistle, thistle. Shenana King. Shenana King? What's a Shenana King? Who's Siri's friend? What is this green stone? All right, got anything else in here? Just some, just some loot potentially. All right. Gonna kill the monster. Yep, I'm gonna go kill so some monsters, Greg. Guy. Exactly. Oh, buddy. Information. Let's go. Hey, a stash. Holy shit. That's cool. I should probably use this, actually. Um, What's in this dash? It... I don't know that... I thought I put stuff in the stash. Holy shit. Okay, maybe not. So, I think what we're going to do is get rid of... And by get rid of, I mean store some of the armor that I really don't think we'll use. Uh, like our Kaer Morhen... Uh, stuff. Cavalry boots that are less good. I could just sell those. I think this is my original boots, my Care Morhen stuff, my hunting boots. Um, I think. I think those are the same gauntlets. And then, is it just plain hunk hunting trousers? Must have been. All the hunting stuff and then that uh, Care Morhen armor. Um, okay, the rest of this stuff I think we can probably just sell if we're not using it. The other question is, we are not currently using our regular Witcher Steel Sword. Since it's our OG item, I just don't want to sell a thing that I might someday have a reason to hold on to or like a desire to hold on to, you know? Um, so I think I might also stash that. Uh, okay, with that in mind, might also make sense to stash the trophy. I have a different trophy on me. This is worth a lot of money. 
But I think I might want to do that. I'm not sure. We have a million books. Uh, sorry, we have a million like letters and stuff. Uh, but I think those are actually fine to keep. They don't weigh anything. I don't think I run out of space, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. That all seems fine. I don't know if I happen... I don't lose anything on death, so... I don't really see any reason to get rid of any of that stuff. Okay. Um. Well, well, well. Let's do some reading here. What do we want to read first? There's a little top on the ground there. There are some clothes here. Siri must have used these. Looks uh -huh. like she left in a hurry. Okay. Are these the like the gloves with the the blue lacing on the side? I really liked those gloves. Like the blue, it's like a blue little trim. I don't know. Can't tell if it is or not. Natural obscurity of curses. The natural obscurity of curses by Lydia Van Breedevort. To my friends. Where did Siri get this? To my dear friends, Philip and Anna from Count Legueve, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Tamaria, 1265. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one's being ill, of one being's ill will towards another, are is solely mist is sorely mistaken. I can't speak today. Uh, shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on one on objects in one's immediate environment, the consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the, cure, the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Vera Cruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world, achieving harmony between body and mind. So, a book hmm. about... Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Did that just say to the Emperor and his wife? So, I wonder what the... implication is there. They have... So Siri has friends in high places or they have friends, the emperor has friends in high places. So the implications uh, to me are curses might be a thing that actually exist in the world. And also uh, Siri was either interested or um, reading up on it. So shit. Um, I was hoping that maybe I could zoom in on this talisman and see if it had like a certain type of image on it. But I can't really see anything on it, so. Bummer. Uh, okay. So. Uh, interesting. We still have one more thing over there. This is what I was going to click on. It sounded like maybe there was an actual quest called Series Room. Yeah. Huh. Uh, okay. I didn't realize we'd started that quest. Let's see what this top is, or this toy. The spinning top, Gretka's toy. Gretka's toy? Also, family matters, by the way. Steve Urkel. How, when, when and where is Steve Urkel gonna appear in this quest? Oh, go talk to Gretka. I understand, okay. I get it now. The game is signifying we found an item of Gretka's in Siri's room, aka you should ask um you should ask Gretka about it. Okay. We can do that. Sure. Thistles and shenacking, by the way. Hey, I found this toy in Siri's room. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in our room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. That's it. Okay. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. Hmm. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. I'm not playing. I'm helping. That's the entirety of the series room quest. Interesting. Hmm. Uh. 
This is locked. We should quick save before we do anything else. Okay. We're going to explore a little bit more of the castle before we go. I think that's the front door. Sergeant, guard. Nothing here for you. Yeah, sure, sure. Whatever you say. What you guys got in here, huh? Any loot? Baron's henchman? What a... Guys just whistling and smoking. What a very non... What a very guilty sounding word. Henchman, by the way. He's a henchman. How good could he possibly be? Oh, it's the Baron. All right. So this is the Baron's room. Okay. Uh, nothing that I can interact with in here, which honestly, probably for the best. I don't want to be arrested or uh, shot. Well, killed. Whatever. Bring out the gimp. Shot. Make the gimp sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't the you? Gimp. Oh, another henchman here. Good. Who am I waking up? What does that mean? Oh, that's grain. Oh, I understand. Okay. I hope taking that in front of that guard didn't matter. Um, okay. So because every because the Baron is like making the towns is basically taxing the townspeople for or the, the people of Valen for grain. They have it locked up there. Okay, makes sense. Sure, sure. Another henchman? Drinking, or you a fucking thief? I mean, I did steal some water and a couple rings, but like, I don't think he's gonna notice. What was that sound? The person. Yeah. Is there somebody in here? Okay, so I already did this part. Fuck. So, who is the quote-unquote gimp that we have to wake up? This guy's sleeping. Is it this guy? Gotta wake this guy up? Hmm. Oh, Alright, we're gonna get out of this castle. I think I've explored enough for my, uh... For my curiosity for now. <laughs> Oh, all right. We're not to be injured uh, because I I am uh, yeah. on a, a favor for the Baron. So none of you guys can, can hurt me. Did you know that? Okay. God, it is bright out here. So we need to go to the Peller's Hut. Let's see where that shows up on the map. Uh, we know where it is. It's the Herbalist building. Okay. So I went in there an hour already. Must be strangling a girthy one. Oh, God. Strangling a girthy one. In the outhouse? Two swords could take on 40. Don't waste your time. We've all been going in the bushes these last days. Is this guy having the worst shit of his life? What? Your pale as oaty shite. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing out down here? What's that uh, guy doing? Uh, uh, time to water the horses. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? I kind of want to take my sword to this outhouse to get uh, this guy out of here. Fuck. All right. Um. So here's the deal. We are going to head to the Peller, but first I'm going to spend the rest of this episode just quickly looking around and listening. Okay, okay. They're talking about Levy. I think he means he's taxing, basically. Uh, we should hit these things for sure. Items have been enhanced. Things you love to see. Okay. More Baron's henchmen here. What are y'all up to? Anything? Okay. Just see what's going on in this uh, in this area, you know. Here's the thing: I don't really know. I wonder if the game wants you to or rewards you for jumping up on top of tall areas like this, you know? Oh fuck! Just about fell. Okay, so there's something up here. 
There's a place to sleep. But... Oh, man. This is a question I personally love having answered every time I, I play a new game. Basically, like... Is the game going to reward me for doing dumb... Dumb, very... Uh, I guess you could call it completionist in its best form of the word. <laughs> most great, most generous form of the word. Uh, by like wandering up there. This Baron's henchman is sick. Holy shit. What's down here? Anything? There's a chest. Ah. A diagram and a manuscript page. Okay. Cool. Worth it. The more of those we can collect, the better. Okay, well, I think uh, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We have uh, a continuation of this quest to do here in the next episode. We need to go find the Peller. So, uh, we're going to do that. But first, we're going to end the episode right here. Interesting stuff on series trail. Um, we beat our first werewolf this episode. That's huge. Otherwise, we're going to see you tomorrow for another episode. If you like this uh, episode, a like or a positive comment down below helps me out quite a bit. Uh, and also, I just want to chat with you guys. I love reading the comments. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.